Hey guys, want to bring you another YouTube video. So the draft uh, first round concluded yesterday. So just wanted to go ahead and um, kind of do a quick recap and then what's coming up for potentially round two. So first pick, Bryce Young. Um, not really a big surprise, but like I said, some experts were kind of afraid with his size. So... Um, I don't think this is a very strong draft class. I think Caleb Williams next season is going to be a very strong class. Um, Trevor Lawrence was a once-in-generational hit. Um, but originally they had three to five draft picks uh, for quarterbacks going to the first round potentially, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, second pick, C.J. Stroud. Originally this was before anyone knew that this trade for the third pick happened. But most people thought it was going to be um, a defensive player to help out uh, D'Amico Ryan's uh, team, especially this is his first year. He, he wants a strong defense. You're going to have to contend and stop Trevor Lawrence in that conference. I mean, you don't have a good quarterback with the Colts yet. Um, and then also with the Titans, you have an aging Ryan Tannehill. And there was rumors that uh, they were shopping Derrick Henry. So if you have a really good defense, you have a chance, a uh, fighting chance to contend in that um, uh, division. So the big surprise was Arizona Cardinals traded their pick to move back and got to pick up uh, the defensive player, Will Anderson Jr. So they were able to pretty much build on their uh, both sides of the ball with their quarterback and a linebacker so D'Amico Ryans must be really glad making a really strong first year um, with the draft the fourth pick so that's where we we knew there was going to be potentially three quarterbacks in the top five um, we didn't know if it was going to be Will, uh, Will Levitz or Anthony Richardson but Anthony Richardson ended up being the pick with the Colts. Um, so that was a little bit of a shocker, I guess, because they didn't know um, if he was going to be there or if they would really like him, uh, especially him being potentially pretty raw, hefty. And, and we don't even know if he's going to be the first week starter. Um, then that's where I think where the Seahawks kind of got in trouble there because originally I think that's where the Seahawks wanted to actually get um, potentially a quarterback if the quarterback fell to them. And I think Will Lovitz was not the quarterback that he wanted. I think they probably want Richardson because he could have sat behind um, Gino and learn the first year. So I think that was the play there but that didn't happen so they got a cornerback which i think it's going to help because uh but i don't know i mean what you, you you kind of what i like about the draft you have to see what the other teams are doing in your division and so obviously seahawks is one of the big ones for the niners and so I think they're trying to stop or slow down the offense of the Niners, and you'll see why. But I think that definitely um, helped there for them. Uh, obviously, Arizona try and protect um, Kyle Murray. No opinion there, really, for the Raiders. Uh, Bijan Robertson definitely that's going to help, but they don't have real quarterback there um i do like what the eagles did uh traded in front of the bears to get in uh to be able to draft jelly and carter i think he dropped i think carter could have actually gone to the raiders potentially but i think with the whole henry ruggs the third uh situation out of here i think they didn't want jelly carter to be out here in Vegas uh, with that situation and background situation before the draft. So 
I think uh, it makes sense why he dropped. Uh, no opinion. The 10th pick. Uh, the 11th pick, I was a little surprised because I thought that was a place for Will Levitz, but he's uh, that that's, like I said, I thought that could have been a potential spot. That does say a little bit. If that rumor is still true, maybe the Trey Lance trade could still potentially go down day two or uh, for or day three with the Titans um, if they don't get Will Lovitz or don't like him at all. Um, let's see. A little surprised with the Lions with the running back because they already had they thought some good running backs. Um, but Swift couldn't stay healthy. That was the issue. Not surprised. Typical Packers drafting on the defensive side. Um, let's see. The Steelers traded ahead, which is ironic, taking the last, like the, the top three um, offensive line was Robert Jones was the last one that was potentially. I think that's why they traded up to draft before the Jets because they knew the Jets were potentially going to draft him. So I think that's where the Jets were kind of panicking. I think they used up most of their time and kind of had to go with what the head coach is strong and know um, and what could, what they could do with their defense built uh, on it. So that defense is going to be pretty solid with Robert Sala still. Uh, Washington, no opinion there, really. Um, the Patriots, typical move, tra trading back, get more draft capital, and then also uh, getting a cornerback that they're going to have to contend with three better quarterbacks than Mac Jones at this point. Um, obviously, with Aaron Rodgers now there, Tua, uh, with the weapons he got, and then also Josh Allen. Yeah, you definitely want some good cornerbacks there. Um See, that's where I thought the Lions with the 12th pick, they should have gotten drafted more on the defensive side. Just like on the 18th pick, that made sense because they had one of the worst defense. I think if they could build that defense this year, they could make it to the playoffs. Um, let's see. Tampa Bay, nah, not much opinion there. Okay, so back to uh, Seahawks because, like I said, I try to focus more or know more about the division. Seahawks, that makes sense uh, right here. They're going to draft a wide receiver to help Geno Smith. Um, doesn't make sense. Like I said, I don't think they were in love with Will Levitz, and that kind of shows because they had two first-round picks, didn't use it. Um, so... I think that made sense for them to go there, get more weapons for Gino. And, I mean, even if Gino doesn't work out, then they're going to have a quarterback that's going to have all these weapons that way. Um, yeah, you had four wide receivers go off the board all of a sudden. And right down there, I mean, the Ravens made sense because they signed uh, Lamar Jackson again. And then right here, I thought the Vikings could have drafted um, Will Levitz there, but I guess not because they obviously wanted to add more weapons for Kirk Cousins. Um, right here, Giants, I thought they should have gotten a, like a wide receiver. I guess they got their tight end there. Uh, with the Buffalo Bills, they traded up to get a tight end. Let's see. Cowboys. Um, I thought they would have tried guy and tie in, but I guess they went more with their defense. Don't blame them on there. Um, offensive tackle right there for the Jacksonville Jaguars makes sense. They're trying to protect Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Bengals help their defense makes sense. Um, Saints defense because. I mean, like I said, it's not a very strong division. If you could get some stops with uh, Derek Carr there, should be able to win that division. Like I said, the Eagles, I, I like what they did. They definitely boosted their 
um, defense, especially losing some of those key players. Um, they have to pay them big bucks there. So I think they have like a bunch of Georgia defensive players uh, from that 2021 class. So I think they're just stocking up a lot of um, good players there on their defense. Going to be really tough for the Niners or whoever's trying to come out of the NFC West or NFC, sorry. And then um, last pick was the Chiefs. And obviously with the Chiefs, I think that definitely helps defensive because they don't really have any holes at this point with the Chiefs. Let me know what your thoughts are with Will Levitz. Did you thought he was going to be in the first round? Hooker was supposed to be another one uh, out of the five, so they thought potentially originally there was five. I don't think that's possible now. Uh, with them, those two, they could still be early second, mid-second. Um, but, yeah, they're still going to be playing of players. Um, I'm hoping the Niners stay two. They pick in the third round, so hopefully they can get a tight end to help with George Kittle. Replacing some of the older players at depth, um, if they could get someone on the offensive tackle, um, offensive line, d- defensive line would be great to add more depth. Uh, it's supposed to be a really deep cornerback back class, so maybe get some cornerbacks that would help. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so, and together we could build a better tomorrow. Thanks.